Hello everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to the shed. Today, we are going to be fitting a battery relocation kit to my Turbo Starlet. Stick around and see how it looks. First of all, uh, thanks to everyone who watched the previous video of getting the car finally down on the ground. Has like 1400 views or something which is huge for me uh very cool to see a couple of comments reaching out as well and um, so yeah thanks a million to everyone who watched that this is another step in the right direction so i'll just very briefly go through what i have here in front of me and what we're aiming to do today so everything on this side of the table um is the battery relocation kit so i've opted to put the battery in the boot of the car uh, purely for aesthetic reasons and um, some lads would obviously put them or relocate them for weight distribution or whatever but for me it's purely purely aesthetics i think the engine bay of the gts and of the glenza sometimes looks a bit busy and that there's an awful lot going on so for me i wanted to just take away as much as i can uh, i have the battery tray shaved down as well so it's just kind of a cube inside there as opposed to this big kind of gaudy looking thing so i picked up this kit from dzr wire Everything here is from DZR Wire, apart from the batteries, but um, DZR Wire offers uh, kits not only for Starless, but for anything. Hondas, Nissans, whatever it is, he has something for it. Uh, this is also, I suppose, a universal kit, which is worth saying that you can fit this to whatever car it is that you have. But it's perfect for me in my situation. Um, and then on this side of the table, I picked up another kit from DZR Wire again. Uh, just a couple of additional art complaints for the car um, probably some of the old art straps are not in the best of condition and probably lost at this stage so I just decided to go with um, a brand new kit so everything again is provided new little terminal points, new cable, uh, sleeving and heat shields so how do we relocate the battery of a car? Um, if you're like me and you're an idiot very much it can be a daunting enough kind of um, idea how do I do that? But when you break it down and actually have to think about it, it's not overly complicated. So your battery in the engine bay has a plus and a minus terminal. Um, the most basic way of breaking it down is that when you turn the key, you're sending power from your battery directly to your starter, starter motor. That starter motor is engaging and then your engine is starting to turn over and you get spark and the engine starts, which then in turn, because of the rotational movements of the engine, rotates the alternator and then provides power to everything so it's still going to do the exact same thing my battery is going to be in the boot my power is going to come i'm pointing to this one but i'm actually more than likely going to use this one this is my power cable here uh, and again i might say things wrong here i've never done this before i'm not very good with wiring or any of that kind of stuff but just bear with me i'm breaking it down this is like wiring for idiots at the minute so just bear with me okay so our power cable is going to run from my battery positive the whole way through the car in out the firewall and it's going to go to this little terminal here or these two one of these two poles so not sure if you can see it properly on the camera there but I'm just going to close up if you have your positive cable coming in here i'm then going to get my starter cable onto this pole here and what happens there is your power is transferred directly to the starter and it'll go fairly much that's the very very basic basic part of it um, there is other parts to the kit here so this is another similar to this it's another kind of a pulled um what you call it uh, thing right but there's a provision in the middle of it for a hundred and well for a fuse so what that'll do is if my positive terminal and the battery or the positive cable makes contact with the chassis it'll blow the fuse instead of causing damage to the wiring or to the battery so that's what this is here uh, the kit is it's everything you need it's everything apart from a battery um, and it comes with incredibly clear instructions fantastic product i haven't even used it yet but just how clean it is the, the quality of the materials everything i'm very very happy with it so this also comes with the kit um, everything is included in this so you have some little uh, heat sleeving shields to cap off the top of your cables he provides a 150 amp fuse and he actually provides two of them in case 
something goes wrong when you're installing it or whatever. Uh, terminals then to sit on top of the battery and what I like is he actually gives the small uh, terminals as well as the big ones. So whatever kind of battery you have, um, he has it sorted out fairly much. And then a, a couple of more terminals here I presume for the negative um, part of your battery which you'd be making yourself. Um, also gives you these little clamps uh, to hold down the cable and even like just such a good idea. He's a small little bit of cable with a cable tie onto the clamp just to give you an idea as to how to actually use that part which is just it's a, it's a very well thought through bit of kit and um, so nice one I can't wait to get it installed even down to like positive positive and negative battery covers here it's a perfect it's a perfect kit very inexpensive as well for what you're getting and delivered within I think a day and a half it was here and um, so thanks a million I really really appreciate that these are our wire and uh, the York kit I won't really go through it it's much in the same, um, we'll just be making new working points for the car along, along the way and yeah, that's the kit. I picked up a couple of crimpers here, so cable cutters and also a crimper I suppose you'd call it, your, to put on your battery terminals here, she'll crimp it in and make sure that we get a good seal on that. And then with the battery, so obviously I didn't have a battery in this car for about three years, four years and that battery is gone and that's gone into another car. So, on my last video I mentioned I was going to do this and Dave Casey from Limerick Brakes, absolute legend of men, he reached out to me and said that he'd sponsor us a battery to try and get this thing going. Um, I had a little bit of over and back with him then because I wasn't sure what size what I was going to do or whatever. Dave gave me these two batteries and two more batteries over there and he just said take them all, see what works the best and go from there. So nice one, thanks a million Dave, can't recommend Limerick Brakes enough, absolute legends inside there. So I think we'll stop talking, we might move over and have a look at the car, where I'm going to route all of this kind of stuff and we'll go from there, we'll see how much we can get done. Again it looks fairly straightforward but I'm an idiot and I can do anything right so let's get straight out of this bus. Okay, so I just did a, I suppose a small little bit of ripping to try and find out the route. Uh, I'll just show you there. What I've done so far, uh, I've literally only given about five minutes into this now, but that'll be the rough location of the battery. Now, obviously, we can position it any way we want. I think maybe at that angle, because it's fairly secure, even at that, I could turn it that way, but it's a little bit tight in, in the corner. Um, and I have my, this is my positive pole, negative pole. So what I have or what I was thinking of doing at least for the negative is to earth it off of where my spare wheel will um, or where my spare wheel should go there's a little threaded section here um, if I just zoom into that I have put a little terminal on it um, I put a bit of heat in it as well just to try and get it to bend to that kind of um, shape and it seems to have flattened down fairly well I will have to clean up the treads and all of it on that because obviously this is all painted um, but yeah, so this this uh, pole here now will come and go straight up to this negative one here. Uh, we'd do it obviously as tidy as possible that we'd root it and maybe tie it off against the wall here and then it's a straight shot up and bang. So what do we need to do then is find the home for where the fuse is going to go. So it's recommended to put the fuse, uh, I think 30 centimeters away from the positive pole. So somewhere around here, maybe up against that uh, little bit of inner plastic there and then that gap inside here is where my power cable is going to go so it's going to go from battery to fuse and then cable out through here uh, I've just removed the back seat so if you imagine my cable is going to come along here and then start tucking in behind the carpet just down here and um, we'll tuck it in I've just taken off some of the inner plastics here we'll tuck it in the whole way along and what's nice as well is you mightn't be able to see it but under the little seat rails here there's actually a gap that I can get my finger through so the cable won't just be sitting here and kind of be bulging out through the carpet I can run it uh, directly along the ground so it'll be down in here it'll go in underneath this little uh, raised edge that you can see because there is a hole here continue along go through this one continue up along here and then there's already a hole in the firewall for some of the other bits of wiring which I'll just show you here so 
might be hard to see just below the fuel pressure regulator there you can see the little bit of purple there just in that kind of area there so our power cable is going to run out and probably be located somewhere around here um, this is my battery tray so the original battery tray would be out here and kind of go over the top of the gearbox and come back in something like that so yeah that's kind of what we're looking at there um, also this will be my old uh, battery negative cable so I'll do away with this and we'll make up a new earth strap that will go on to the place of that and earth somewhere off the chassis or somewhere tucked in underneath in the front there so we'll be getting rid of this kind of old crusty looking wire there as well so I think that's that's my route fairly much sorted out um, I'll go and just there I'm going to lay out where these um, little poles should go now and we might even start drilling and making a bit of, bit of space from now another thing that's worth mentioning is I can't secure everything on the front part of it yet because because my wire and isn't physically here I can't mark up so I need to get the positive pole on my wire and what easy or what um, EP wire and are after doing for me is that they have adapted my the old positive pole to be able to go into one of these now I could do that here with the stuff that uh, the DZR wire has given me in the kit but um, EP iron was happy enough to do that himself but I don't really know how long of a cable that's going to be so I had originally thought of I had originally thought of maybe putting the power cable up against the firewall here but I don't think the cable that would have been originally around this area would reach back there so um, I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave everything here kind of dry just just a dry fit I could start securing everything the whole way back along and have all of that completely squared away but um, yeah let's start let's start running some cable and see how we go So I just have the cable routed um, this will come out and we'll get lovely sleeving and all that uh, put onto it before we start mocking everything up or I suppose putting everything in properly but I just wanted to again as we said find out where I'm putting everything so the battery is going to live here we know the route of the cable this is where I'm going to put this uh, fuse unit and I've put on two terminals just to kind of give me an idea as to where everything wants to sit so this cable that's behind it 
if you imagine that this terminal is going to be on this point of the cable and this terminal is going to be on this point we cut out this center part so your power is traveling well actually this way going through that um, it'll come up plug into here our negative cable then will be the off cut of this which will um, which will reach from our negative pole to our earthing point here um, you could probably get an idea now you can see the cable there running underneath those little uh, seat frames there and going out through the firewall up along there that'll all be covered up with carpet and I also uh, just roughly mounted up where this uh, cable is ending up so this unit here which is also supplied in the kit this is my power cable coming in now not sure do I like that position um, this is kind of a little bit out in the, in the middle of nowhere but there's also so that's see that that hole there that threaded hole is in the car I didn't have to drill that there's also another one in the chassis leg down there that I could use and another thing then that I was thinking was I could possibly cut a little hole in this grommet here and take my power cable up and feed it through this one and get a straight link into this box here if I open this box if I can open this box with one hand so with the box open you can see what that cable is supposed to be doing I just have it left sitting in there and um, there will be a terminal on that she'll go here cable to the starter motor then goes there and goes in behind the engine into the starter motor so yeah I'll stay fiddling around with it and get everything fully fully set up So in the little time lapse that you just watched, you saw me make this uh, kind of a trial little earth cable. Um, there was way more to it. I don't envy anyone that does wiring every day and that does this stuff every day. Like, um, it is it is quite difficult, but uh, we managed to slap this thing together. Um, not the prettiest thing in the world, but it's still something. Um, I then, after having a little bit of a trial, remade this art cable. So this is a, a new freshly made cable which replaces um, this old kind of, uh, I suppose, fairly ugly looking one. And that also was included in it. So my negative battery terminal was on that. So this is the new piece. Um, still haven't done anything on this side of it so I used the little earth earthing kit as a trial before I went cutting any of the big power cable uh, for the rest of the kit just to see how it works how to do the the sleeving all of that kind of stuff and um, there's a pattern to it like you have to do stuff in a certain order to be able to get it all to go where you want it to go but I'll just show you what I've done here in the back so i suppose it doesn't look like much but the cable is now essentially cut to length up to the fuse here i do have my negative cable made and sleeved 
Um, so that's in place there. Just need to put this little cover up over the top of it and that's very much ready to go. Um, it's just on loose there at the minute. And yeah, so again, it did take a little while. Um, took me a while just to get used to what I was actually supposed to do with to, to make these cables, but overall, still a fairly straightforward kit, just once you know what you're doing. Um, probably be fairly fun trying to get the full cable the whole way out sleeved not sure will i even do it or will i only do the parts that we can see on this section here uh, but yeah it was um it was a learning curve for sure that's a i'm kind of happy with that i know it looks maybe a little bit gaudy there but um for the first proper one to be made it was it was pretty good and yeah <laughs> So, an update. You saw a couple of time lapses, you saw me fooling around with some wires, but we are practically done. This is what we are looking like in the boot. So, negative going to the negative port, I just have them left there. We have our positive cable mid and sleeved. We have our mega fuse mounted to the uh, car, so I actually did have to drill into the car. Probably could have used double sided tape, but I think that's a better solution there. So she's bolted on. Our cable then is running in underneath our seat, which you can see just there. That is going the whole way through. As I showed you already, underneath these little seat rails, it's running up and going up through there. And what I didn't show you on camera, I actually just put the camera down just to get this final bit done, is this portion. So I changed my position where it's coming through the firewall. I utilized that grommet that's already there. And another thing is that these are our wire dust supply grommets. So if you were making a new hole in the firewall, he has a grommet there to protect the cable from, I suppose, chafing off of the firewall. I didn't need to use it because I utilized what was already there. I went in underneath this guy, um, one cut with a Stanley blade, so it's a super tight fit. And I, 
have it running up and I have it mounted up into our little um our little box here so that's kind of the the finished look of it now I, I have left myself a little bit of slack in the um cabin of the car I suppose if you want to call it that that if I need to reposition this a bit more forward or back or whatever I can do that without needing to cut wire or do anything more um very very tidy I can't wait to see the other side of that going now and see where everything sits so instead of my big ugly battery sitting here um this is now all we need what a nice little kit uh, really really happy with how this thing turned out and yeah it's done this little earth cable is made up i have another couple that i can make here uh, i'm not going to do them now tonight a uh, long enough night in the shed so yeah i'm uh, i'm well happy with how all that turned out what i'm going to do now is i'm going to just put the bits of interior back in and have it all ready to go so that's another major job ticked off the list we are just getting so close to getting this thing started i can't wait but let me know what you think of the kit i'm going to get this thing back together and then we will close out the video So we are done as you saw there the interior is back in uh, there's no indication whatsoever on the interior that there is a cable running under your feet which is very nice it's all back together no lumps no bumps in the carpet everything's good so we'll happy with that back seat is all back together i cannot wait to actually valet the inside of this car because it is horrendous so yeah we're done for the night battery is on i might have turned on the gt bumper just for absolutely no reason whatsoever but my adhd just made me do it so yeah uh very successful night everything went very very well uh fairly easy kit to work with and these at our wire just well done class kit ran into one or two little problems again with just me being an idiot and not really understanding what to do Hit him a message on Instagram, 10 minutes later he replied, cleared everything up. So very, very, very highly recommended product. And just look how tidy it is. So nice. So, so nice. So I'm gonna leave the video there. I'm gonna do a little bit of tidying up. And it also just occurred to me that ye have never seen the car rolling, even though it is now on the ground. So let's finish the video with me tucking the car back into the corner and you can finally see this thing moving. So we'll do that.